Welcome back to a new day and a new dawn on Vintage Story Test World. And, true to form, the drifters are absolutely going crazy with me at the moment. I am extending my storage. Now, before I show you that, let me show you what I've done. My friend Aladark had a brilliant suggestion that I take this down further, drop it down and bring it underneath. That has stopped the drifter incursion. Can you see there? They're trying to do high jumps over there. I am making Molybda Chalkis plates to make some more lanterns with. Gosh, look at those things. Oh, have you got a nasty shot coming, mate? And over here is where I've been extending my storage. And I've decided to put the tree trunk barks up there that's just to mark where I'm going to put a step and the reason for that is that sometimes you want to use the bark sometimes you want to use the planks sometimes like this you want to use the surfaces the ebony I think is particularly attractive as a flooring surface and those two seem to go they seem to meld together don't they I put these three next to each other because it's interesting that I think the acacia goes very well with the ebony. I think the redwood is slightly pinkish. It goes with the acacia, but it's a very light wood. I hadn't realised it, and I'm slightly debating whether to put four there, but I think not. We get the idea from that, don't we? So all that's work in progress. Let's see if we've got a good win today. So let's see if we can make yet another plate. Good. Right, that is working fine. I've got nothing in the quern at the moment. So uh, I have another chest here. Um, let's pop that back in this box for the time being. Um, I've got some very nice maple planks. Let's pop those in there. But also I want to look and see how many stones I've got. Yeah, let's drop these off in here. And I've got another one of those. I shall need that, I know, by the end of the day. All right, I've got some axles here I want to drop off in my mech chest so that I know exactly where they are. And I've got a load of planks in there. Oh my goodness. I wondered what had happened to all my planks. We might actually just about get all of my Molybda Chalkis into lanterns. That would be good. Right. That's two of the Molybda Chalkis plates. Now I think I'm short of candles. Let's have a look. I am. That's okay. That's not okay. We need to go and harvest some bees. Um, construction. Let's just pop those there. And let's put some fuel back in there. Right. Okay. Yeah, the drifters are gone. Good. Uh, wrong chest. Right, let's... Oh, I'm one short. Right, let's go and get our scythe. Also, we are now in July. So I need to think about planting things, growing crops... Yes, those are growing quite nicely. Let's look at that field that's fallow. I doubt whether it will have uh, sorted itself out yet. But let's have a look. Oh, it's, we can grow pea. Um, let me have a good look. 50N, 50P, 50K. Slightly less N there. Uh, slightly less pea. Yeah, I had a mixed crop. That was the problem. Can I grow K in there? K is all right. F 
No, that is why you shouldn't plant mixed crops. But sometimes when you're starting out, you have no options. And how are we doing with the peanuts? Eight out of nine. Right, how are we doing over here? That's another field that needs to be... That looks as if N would be okay here. It will. Right, let's go and find some crops that are N. Spending all night sort of mining and digging and doing metal work and then coming out to plant the crops during the day. Sounds like a good life on Vintage Story. Right, now what have we got that will withstand the heat that's N? Uh, what temperature are we? 23 degrees already. I would like a vegetable if I could get one. And the one I know is good for heat is onion. And that's P, of course. That's K. Um, mm, come on. Rye. Yeah, that's 27 degrees, that's gone. I think, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna have to be this one. Let's do rye, get the cereal done. Okay. There we go. Uh, right. I mean, I could take the risk on something like cabbage or parsnips, but I really don't think I want to do that. They are winter crops. Okay, so the cabbage is only goes to 35 degrees. What else goes to 35? Let's just move our winter crops out of here. Then we're not tempted to plant them. 40, 40, 40. 27, 32, 40, right, right, cabbage, turnip seeds, oh, wow, look at that, there's an N, there's an N, and there's a P, right, split it up like that, then we're not tempted to do anything with them, let's put our grass and a horse tail in there, okay. Right, let's go and have another look. Oh, hang on. Don't neglect this if we've got a good... Oh, we're almost there on it, aren't we? Ah. I tell you what, let's just eat while we're waiting. That's it. And go and get some more food. Then we don't starve. That'll do. Okay. This should be ready. Oh, it's gone. It's gone out. Oh, I've left it too long. Oh, my goodness. It must have heated up and cooled down while I was doing the... Um, oh, gosh. Crops. Ah. Whoops. Yeah, let's put that in there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't need to, but it doesn't matter. Right, let's get that one going. 
and go and have a look at the other fields and see how they're doing. I'm getting quite excited. One of you left a comment, for which many thanks, uh, on using cassava. And apparently cassava is very, very good um, for long term. Oh, we need to be careful here. N and P and K. What is this? The cassava is K. I think I'm just going to leave this area as it is. It seems to be growing quite nicely. Let's not worry about it. What I do worry about is I want reeds. Let's harvest some reeds. Did I get those reeds up? No, we don't want to dig that way. Right. Gosh. Right. I might just move some of these ones that are out outlying into the um, fields. On the other hand, if you've got crops that you've just planted, it's very, very useful to have a supply of reeds where you don't have to. Come on. Well, you don't have to uh, wait until the crops have sorted themselves out. Right. Oh, look at that. Okay. Right. Come on. good all to the good so we've planted another crop plus 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 and it's come down here this is the B bit <laughs> um, I've got two skeps here let's move that off my bar and that and certainly that. All right, another skep. And I'm going to need three. So let's just pop these round. One, two. Okay. Now I expect to get stung here. And if I get stung, let's hope that the video doesn't start lagging i will stop here and i'll come back to you when i've harvested the bees right i managed to scrape the bees off over there so i shouldn't be lagging too badly at the moment let's just pop that back in there i have three of the plates. I've got two more there and I need clear quartz. Okay, let's make some more lanterns. So we've got two, three, three candles. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right, that should be three lanterns. Brilliant. Let's pop that back in there. And then let's go and uh, add these to where we're building. This is only a, that's going to be. Yeah. And I think one inside. Let's see if we can get through here. Yeah, we are almost through. Right. 
all the flowers. So pretty. Wow, the sound of the bees is quite, quite vibrant, isn't it? And we have to think how we're going to extend our bee population too. Um, I think over here is going to be the place. Let's just pop all the flowers down. So you have to be careful about this sort of shelf. Um, I don't want the raccoons to get in. That's all right. Yeah. Right, now we need some earth because we're going to try to link our two areas. We shouldn't be too difficult, actually. Just eat something. Right. Low fertility soil. What have we got in our stones? Um, we've got granite. Claystone. I've got a lot of granite in this area. Okay, that should be all right. Okay, and now that it's daylight, we can actually cut through here. Um, I found myself besieged by drifters. Look at that. At least I can see where I'm going. Yeah. Is that a different level? It can't be, can it? I have no steps. This level should be correct. That's good. Yeah, taking it around the corner is the answer. I've got 12 more. Something I wanted to do in daylight because I was getting hassle from the drifters basically they were reaching for me through the walls never a nice feeling ceiling here is at that height guys look at that beautiful look of these blue lupins against the white cliffs isn't that gorgeous really nice
Okay, so. Now. This actually widens out here, doesn't it? So this comes down. Yeah, that is going to work. Surprisingly enough, that is going to work. Right, so you've got three, one, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. And I need some more fence. Right. Let's just make sure that we are not beset by drifters. There's not much I can do about this bit. Um, but I can get that lot in place and that is one I come down and then I think Put that one there. That looks okay. Wow. That is going to work quite nicely. But just in case we've got that gate shut, yes. Let's shut this gate. I know that the bit over there the drifters will get in. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Right, that's a good day's work, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.